What's up, everybody? I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, mini tubs and coilover video that I just put out to you guys. Uh, that's a lot of work. It, it's time consuming. It's a lot of metal fab. Uh, not so much metal fab, more metal cutting and uh, grinding and welding and grinding and cutting and did uh, and it just goes on and on and on especially the tubs the coilover bar is not so bad but that one takes a lot of a lot of mental thing to be right and get everything straight um, so whenever i do a big project like that i like to do something a little bit smaller something a little bit easier something you could check off your list and be done with and it's quick easy and cheap now you just put out 250 300 dollars for the coilovers you just put out hundred and eighty five dollars for the mini tubs you got five six hundred dollars wrapped up into that seam sealer undercoating gas for your welder wire yeah, it's a seven hundred dollar project by the time you're done with it so <laughs> your wallet needs a break before your wife kills you so I do something that I've been pushing off for quite a while just because it really hasn't been important now my car came with a full gray interior interior the previous owner started painting some of the panels black fine I got nothing against painting panels black I prefer black I can't stand gray interior I don't mind gray interior I can't stand tan or red or blue or any other color but I prefer black so since he already started painting them black I'm gonna finish it off so I'm gonna show you quickly and easily cheaply how this is done some people go nuts um, Mixing base coat, getting the right freaking mat, spraying it all out of the gun. They're two hundred dollars in paint wrapped into this. If you're building a show car, great. That's, I mean, more power to you. I don't have the patience to sit there and do countless spray out cards trying to get it right. So I go down to the local paint store and pick up a can of uh, SEM. Um, there it is. SEM color coat. Uh, satin black uh, it's kind of hard with the uh, light and everything it's uh, 15243 um, SEM satin black it, it's worked pretty good I have a whole bunch of parts I'm in the middle of spraying in the other garage and I can't spray in this one as I have not finished the ceiling so get a lot of vapor upstairs so I got one part here that I haven't even touched it's it's my console surround so I got to uh, I got to um, pop out this hazard switch and um, sand it up and clean it. And I'm sure a lot of people are like, that's not how you prep stuff. That's not how you do. Yeah, 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 I get it. So on the Fox bodies, you can, you can pull these switches and they pop out a little bit. And if you look in here, there's a, there's a couple of tabs that hold these things in. And you can just uh, be careful because Fox body shit sucks. And just give these a little pry if they ever fucking want to come out. Come on. Oh. These things want to break my balls today. The headlight one popped right out. There we go. Just stuck. So there's my hazard switch out. Um, listen, I don't go crazy with these things, sanding them all down, going nuts so on them. I just got a, a red scotch bright and uh, pretty much just go over every surface. You know, you, you know how uh, it should look. You know, paint is 98% prep and 2% satisfaction. Um, it's true, the more prep you put in, the better product you get out of it. So, I mean, sit here and take your time with a scotch break. And uh, there's a lot of nicks and crannies, so work your fingers as best you can into the said nooks and crannies. And You don't want to go too crazy, because then you'll sand out the texture of the uh, actual panel, and that's that's not something you want to do. You don't want to sand that out because then it's going to look really fucking dumb. So, just want to get a good. Make sure you get in all the little corners. So 
So I'm gonna put an alarm light in. Pop this thing out maybe. I have a hole there, but maybe I'll fill it with a dummy alarm light. I'm not gonna have an alarm on this car. I don't ever plan on leaving it. I might have an alarm on this car actually. No, I think I have one sitting on the shelf I could put in. I didn't even think about it. That's something I'll get to later. I don't plan on leaving this car pretty much out of my sight, so. But you know what they say. I've had two cars stolen from me in my life. It is not a uh, a fun uh, thing to come out to. Missing a car definitely fucking sucks. I'm sure some of you can relate. Well, you can see I'm not going overly fucking crazy. I mean, this is already black. Um, I think these are originally black. I don't think these came in other colors. I could be wrong though. But I think these always were black, these surrounds. So I'm sure someone's gonna be like, someone's gonna yell at me right now. Oh my God, you can't do that. That's not how it's done. I'm sure it's gonna be a body guy on here flipping his shit on me. But I've painted a lot of plastic panels and um, this is exactly the way I've done it. And literally I've probably only screwed up two or three times. So I use a can of spray away. Uh, yeah, glass cleaner, uh, no ammonia. So, and a, a microfiber, and I just wipe it down. Like I said, it's all in the prep. <laughs> all in the prep, and then I use glass cleaner to fucking prep it. Yeah. <laughs> but it works. I don't, have, I don't have issues with it. There it is. All cleaned up. Now you gotta let it dry. And, um, go from there. Let's go over to the other side of the garage. Not a side you guys usually see, but it's a side where I do my painting. Where the hell is my outlet? This side's the, uh, the shit side. See, it's all trashed. I haven't bought a shed yet, so everything's in my other garage. Great. You see, I got a whole bunch of parts already down here. Some of them got a first coat on it. Oh, God. What are you doing to me? Some of this stuff has a first coat on it already, and uh, some of it doesn't. Piece of sheetrock I haven't thrown out yet. Well, I hope you guys know how to spray paint. Just light coats. Make sure you get all your edges. Another reason I'm doing this today is because it's almost 60 degrees out here in Connecticut. Beautiful day. Get some of this knocked out before it gets cold again. Perfect. That's it. So with like any project, make sure you have enough material to complete said job. Uh, I thought I had two cans. I definitely don't. I got all this in here. I just fucked up on that one. So that'll have to get re sanded up. But I got all this in here. And I don't have any paint to finish. So I have to go to Levine's, get a can of that. I need a can of undercoating. And I think I'm going to have some single stage mixed up. God damn it. And I think I'm going to have some single stage mixed up of my car. I'm sure somebody local has a paint shop, but you could literally take them a piece of your car and they will mix it and put it in a spray can for you. Just single stage, nothing crazy. Uh, so what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take it and I'm going to paint the underside where all my torque boxes are, the inner sides of the frame rail. Uh, I probably won't do the inner sides of the frame rail actually. I still have, I'm still probably going to weld some framework in there. But I want to get all the torque boxes painted. I don't want to put undercoating on there because then you got to scrape that shit off if you ever need to change it out. So I'll go spend 25 bucks on a can of paint. 
spray all in there. You can even get fancy spray a little clear on top of it so it's super shiny. But uh, yeah, that's where we'll go. So I hope you guys like this video. Quick, easy, simple, cheap. I think a can of that stuff's like eight bucks. Uh, I gotta go get, I'll probably go get two more cans. I usually buy like three or four at a clip. Uh, I don't, I don't remember the last time I bought any. But remember it's, what I use is SEM color coat, satin black. It comes out really nice. I've never had a problem with this before in any other car. Anyway, oh well. Hope you liked the quick video in there. Give you guys something to watch, something to think about in your own car. And they do make all other colors. You can get tan, you can get blue, you can get red, you can get green, chocolate brown, fucking peanut butter, jelly, whatever you want. So if you do have a little mess up on a panel, a stain you can't get up, you can repaint that panel. Uh, I saw someone did a really, really nice tan interior in an older Porsche. It came out really fucking sweet. Like I said, I don't like tan, but this interior looked good. Anyways, like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram at Ray Status. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions, alright? Have a good night, guys.